when you're going on like uh, all these exotic vacations, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta make decisions about where you're gonna spend your Wait, money. Wait, yeah. So what's what's the deal with this vacation you just went on? <laughs> just I just took a took a brief vacation to Turks and Caicos, dude. That shit was nice. Like when you to do the whole like snowbird thing, you know, and you're you live in a place where there's like five months of absolutely shitty weather. It's pretty remarkable to suddenly like. And to leave one morning in the snow, and then that very same. But where evening where be is like that? Like sailing like, or fucking swimming in the sea. Yeah, it's, where where is that though? I, I don't know. It's just to the north of like uh, Haiti and the D- Dominican Republic. Okay. So it was like the weather was remarkable and shit. I did. It was kind of fucking weird though. Have any of you guys ever been to like a resort resort? This is my first time. Like we went to Club Med. Um, because it was like cheap where you, it's all inclusive, you know, like you get to do snorkeling, they take you out on the boat and shit. Like you get to, you know, use their Hobie cats and sail and then they cover all the food. So, yeah. but the weird thing is, is it's like a fucking, they're like, they're essentially like summer camps for adults, you know, and where all mm-hmm. the camp counselors are, are basically like hot people that are undoubtedly fucking one another the entire time. <laughs> um, and yeah, dude, there was there was some bizarre shit though, man. Like every every night they have like you know some kind of like fucking entertainment that they put on, and it's really like the camp counselors, which they call GOs or general officers, and they're like the people that like they they might be doing anything from like playing the role of like you know the nurse running that, or like someone who like teaches people trapeze in the day, or um or like takes you out on the dive boat, and then at night they try to put on these big like fucking musicals and shit, you know, dance dance reviews and, like, burlesque shows and crap. And I was going to say that last year I went um, to a wedding in Jamaica because I have a friend who... A dagger is into an her? Abs- a hu- no, my, 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 my friend is an absolutely huge Beach Boys fan, and he got married on Kokomo Island, which, oh, is, a, which is actually a resort. Um, and we, we Wait, were there for, like... he got married on Kokomo Island because of the Beach Boys song? Yes. And he wow, sang that song at, at at his wedding. Oh my lord! Uh, his wife loves him. That's some cheese. Yes. Did he <laughs> did, did he tend the bar doing like a cocktail style bottle flipping moves? Uh, he did make everyone a rum and coke right after the wedding, and that's what we used to toast. <laughs> okay. Um, but uh, but what I, I was going to say is we ha- we had the same thing though, like at the resort, to where at night all the all the staff people had to put on like all this entertainment. And I just remember one night they had a they had a sort of crash course on Jamaican patois, I guess. Oh uh, my god! And and it was so it was so ridiculous because they're they're telling you you know what what all the sayings mean. And so one but one of the things I said was was like you know. Uh, Jamaicans, when they when they want to drink with a lot of alcohol, they say, uh, "Give me, give me a rum and coke with enough rum," and and all the like white fucking middle class <laughs> vacationers at this place start going up to the bar and asking for a fucking uh-huh. rum and coke with enough rum oh, and, and like laughing and cajoling and and like trying to be cool to the bartender and they're like ha, 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 yeah that's great oh god uh, you know it was, it was just humiliating for all, for all involved oh so, god <laughs> yeah. did you did you also have this thing where you have to eat with uh like the the dining is like big tables and they always seat you at a huge table, so it means like breakfast, lunch, and dinner. You have to fucking run the same exact routine of like people complaining from the northeast or from Canada complaining about how fucking shitty the snow is where they left and talking about how good the dessert is or like how fucking You know, you know, we we were there we were there with a good group of friends and so it was just basically like a private party for, for us and our friends. We we never really talked to anyone else there who was on vacation. So it yeah, was a nice it was a man. nice thing. Yeah. Like it's seen you know, the place where we went, the entire thing was organized like a fucking icebreaker. And then the one thing that made makes this one better than yours for sure is that the the guy who was managing the entire club was like this italian guy and he insisted on being the mc every night for every event but he sounded like he had a fucking tracheotomy with a kazoo and he'd, <laughs> he'd love to he'd love to play like just the shittiest you know of course like euro fucking synth and dance and stuff mixed with this like just atrocious fucking island music i mean it wasn't like you know music from the island but like I mean, it sounded like weird, demented trolls and shit, just like <laughs> blathering over, over fucking synth- synthetic like fucking drums. And but anyway, this guy like at night, like it'd be the thing would be like showgirls would be the theme of the event or something. And he would, 
like people wouldn't be clapping enough because like half of the people are just it's a bunch of fucking old geriatric people and shit who go there like three times a year and they're not clapping enough for the show to start so he, he just keeps doing it again and again until he gets people fucking pumped up like it's some fucking Ibiza <laughs> beach party and the whole while it sounds like it sounds like this all right everyone let's head for the show girls get more excited we gotta get more excited if we're gonna do the show girls <laughs> yeah, shut, shut up. You go back to your room and you hear, hear him coming through the walls from like the fucking amphitheater. <laughs> wow. Well, I think we just lost our senior audience with uh with that last rant. Our what yeah. audience? <laughs> our senior our seniors oh. the seniors among our listeners. Well, well, there's that. Wow. So would you go back? Um Eventually, I mean, the the nice part is just being being in the fucking dead of winter here and just going and, and having remarkable weather and just, like, oh, the water's awesome. Got to swim with the fucking, like, resident dolphin out there. I mean, it's a wild dolphin, but he's, like, it's a lone male. So, like, lone males, like, if they, they're not in a pod, they're never going to be incorporated into one, unlike a female. Um, for the obvious reasons, it's like, dude, you don't, they don't want their non-relative... Uh, spread Dude, we, we, don't, we don't need the biological explanation for dolphin behavior. That's the weirdest. Uh, <laughs> you're, you're like you're like going. You're like, well, <laughs> there's a dolphin. It's <laughs> interesting to me because I feel bad for him because it meant like the whole time you're like, wow, this thing is like remarkably socialized. Like it follows you out every step of the way on the boat, and as soon as you drop anchor, it's just like hanging around, scratching itself on the anchor line and stuff. But it's like. It's not normal yeah. behavior for the dolphin. I feel bad for him, you know? Like, he, he needs to be with this, this extremely social animal. Like- that's, that's like that's like last last year I remember reading a story about how f- for the past several years, um, the, the people who record whale songs with, like, a, the underwater... Uh, microphones and study study like whale communication. They've they've heard this one whale song that's from a particular species of whale that they don't know that there are many left, and they keep on hearing just the one whale sing into the ocean, and no one ever responds to it, which I think is just like the saddest thing ever. Just one yeah. whale at the bottom of the ocean going. <laughs> and no, and like, there's not a single other animal, like not a single other animal on its wavelength in the entire universe. Yeah, it's like Ch- Charlie, yeah, Charlie Brownicus. Make me cry here. I'm sorry. <laughs> so it's a it's a metaphor for life, Jeff. It's fucking terrible. Let's all kill ourselves. <laughs> <laughs>